Elaine, it's a real honour to be here today at ITT Dublin because you have one of the most innovative and exciting projects I've ever heard about in a college. Tell us about 3D Assist. 3D Assist is a group of staff and student volunteers here in ITT Dublin. They come from the Department of Mechanical Engineering and the group was set up about a year ago. And what we do is we manufacture, we 3D print prosthetic arms for children who are born missing part of their arm or hand or also they're suitable for children who um, have had amputations. It originally started in America, a group called Enable set up a link where they provided open source design, so free to anybody who has access to the internet, um, up for the hands, and they put them in touch with people who have access to 3D printers. Why are you focusing on the younger generation, on the small children who, who require the hands? Well, there's a gap there at the moment with smaller children. Because they're growing so fast, it's very difficult for them to, to have traditional prosthesis because they just can't keep up with them. They're quite expensive. One that's suitable for a five-year-old when they grow a little bit older, the next one up might be too heavy and quite uncomfortable for them. So a lot of the feedback we get is that the arms are heavy, they're sweaty and a little bit uncomfortable. So this is a fun alternative that can be easily customized for the children. Elaine, how much did you know about 3D printing before this project came into fruition? Well, we have quite a few 3D printers here in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. We've used them quite a lot for student projects and I'm working here in the materials lab, so we did have the equipment here. The two printers that we use for this organisation have been donated by companies very kindly because of the work that we're doing. So we, we would have had a few here already, so we would have been familiar with the technology. One of the most incredible parts of this whole story is that the parents of these children don't pay anything. Yes, everything's completely free. The material is donated, the machines have been donated. Um, we, all we ask is that the parents can bring the children in to have a few simple measurements taken. Although that's not a, an ultimate requirement either. If they're very far away, we will do our best to accommodate from pictures but everything's completely free. There's no cost involved for the recipients. So Elaine, we have a couple of fantastic hands here. We have a Spider-Man one and a hot pink one, I'd like yeah. myself. <laughs> can you tell us what the children can do with these hands? and What's it made of? This is made of a plastic called PLA. So it comes on a roll, which is fed in through the top of the printer and it's laid down in layers of 0.1 of a millimeter. So everything here has been built up layer by layer from a, a digital drawing. And the way they work is, the wires that run from the fingers right through to the elbow joint are made of, um, there's elastic wires and there's also nylon cord. So the way it works is once a child has 30 degrees of motion in their either elbow or wrist, okay. they can operate the hand. My goodness, so that means that a child who otherwise would not be able to perhaps hold a cup or her school bag can yeah. now grasp at something. Yeah, exactly. And we, we see a lot of children, the first thing they want to do when they get home is they'll get on a bike because they're able to keep their balance. And actually there's some projects running here at the moment where we're trying to develop a hand specifically for use on a bike. You'd see stories over the years about muscle activated um, prosthetics. Yeah. How are they different? And is that something that perhaps in the future you might look into? Well, at the moment, the design you can see is really simple mechanical design, but that is something that we have looked into for the future. And we had two students last year, final year students, working on myoelectric or muscle activated sensors for use with these hands. The, the technology is advancing so quickly that it won't be long before we'll be able to do that. It must be such an exciting industry to be in, but even more so because you have really happy little faces when they collect their arms. Yeah. What's the feedback been like? Oh, it's amazing when the children come in. Normally, the, what we'll see is they'll come in, first of all, when they're getting measured up and the sleeve will be down or the arm will be behind their back. And when they're leaving, the arm is out and they're showing everybody their new Spider-Man or Iron Man hand. So today we're going to meet a very special little girl, Amelia. Can you tell us about her? Yeah, today Amelia is coming in to collect her brand new Frozen themed arm. So her parents got in touch with 3D Assist Tala through um, word of mouth. They, a friend of Amelia's had received an arm as well. So we're delighted to have her in today to pick up her new arm. I'm delighted to see what she thinks of it. Can you tell us about your little girl? Yes, Amelia. She's four and a half years old and she started big school. And she's very excited to be coming up here today to get her new hand, her frozen hand, from the guys up here. So it was a very specific request, Robert. Had to yes. be frozen. Yes, had to be frozen. Had to be <laughs> Elsa's colours, light blue, lots of glitter. But she's a starting to ride her new bike now as well so she the new hand will have some grip 
more than what she's used to. So hopefully she'll be able to use the handlebars properly and all. And just as well, just with sports activities and all, it'll help her come along. Is she excited herself? Very excited. She was over to me at half six this morning into the bed. Mommy, I gave my new hand today. So we're very excited.